I used to straighten my hair a lot. When I was younger, I would need my mom's help to get the back of my head perfectly straight. My pet peeve was seeing bumps on the back of girls' heads because they couldn't get close enough to their roots to get it all. I'd always burn my scalp and the cartilage of my ears trying to get as close to my roots as possible. But then people would always tell me what a great job I did at straightening my hair. So the burns really felt like they were worth it to me. It takes about an hour to straighten my hair and that's remained pretty constant no matter how long it is. I always set my strainer to the highest temperature, 450 degrees. I use a heat protection spray before running the flat iron through every layer of hair as I go, but I don't think it really helps much. I can always see steam coming out from the flat iron, and my bathroom always reeks of burnt hair when I'm done. I loved the attention I'd get from straightening my hair though. I knew that whenever I flat ironed it, I was guaranteed to get compliments from so many people. They'd say things like, oh my gosh, you look so good, and your natural hair is pretty, but you just look gorgeous with it straight. And that was the one that always stuck with me. People would always prefer my straightened hair over my curly hair. In 2010, I got something called a keratin treatment. It's when you go to a salon and they use a bunch of different carcinogenic chemicals to semi-permanently straighten your hair. The process takes about three hours in the salon to apply the whole treatment. Then you have to wait 72 hours before you can get your hair wet again. And during those three days, you can't even tuck your hair behind your ears or do any strenuous workouts. Tucking behind your ear would create dents, and strenuous workouts would produce a lot of sweat, which would make your hair curl again. The treatments are also super expensive, and mine didn't even straighten my hair all the way through. After getting it done, I still needed to straighten my hair to get it look completely flat. When it would dry naturally, it would dry in this bizarre, half-wavy style that was completely unflattering. But when I would try to style it with my curly products, I thought it looked even worse than before I got the keratin treatment done. Ugh, and one of my most vivid memories is from my sophomore year of high school. It was still the beginning of the year. And I just transferred over to a small charter school from the huge public school in my district. So I had some friends, but since it was still early in the semester, none of us really knew each other that well. And this one day, I go to school with my hair straight. I get to class, and the first thing this one guy says, and he says this in front of the entire class, he's like, Oh my god, Becca, your hair! I mean, when it's curly, you're like a seven but when it's straight, you're definitely a nine. I don't remember how I responded to him, but that was the last time I straightened my hair for a really, really long time. <laughs>